the Too Fond of Books. My name is Janelle and this is Murder Mystery Monday. In these videos, I recommend one backlist mystery from usually from my collection. And today we are heading back to the Victorian era with A Beautiful Blue Death by Charles Finch. This is the first in his Charles Lennox series. It was an, uh, a nominee for the Agatha Award and it also was named one of Library Journal's Best Books of 2007, which is especially impressive considering that it is one of only five mystery novels on the list. So I thought that was, um, that was interesting. I'll read from the back. Charles Lennox, Victorian gentleman and armchair explorer, likes nothing more than to relax in his private study with a cup of tea, a roaring fire, and a good book. But when his lifelong friend, Lady Jane, asks for his help, Lennox cannot resist the chance to unravel a mystery. Prudent Smith, one of Jane's former servants, is dead of an apparent suicide. But Lennox suspects something far more sinister, murder by a rare and deadly poison. The grand house where the girl worked is full of suspects, and though Prue had dabbled with the hearts of more than a few men, Lennox is baffled by the motive for the girl's death. When another, when another body turns up during the London season's most fashionable ball, Lennox must untangle a web of loyalties and animosities. Was it jealousy that killed Prudent Smith, or was it something else entirely? And can Lennox find the answer before the killer strikes again? This time, disturbingly close to home. Uh, this was published in 2007, um, obviously from, <laughs> from the awards lists that it was on. Um, I will read to you from the front. What I enjoyed really about this mystery, and I've continued to, to read the series, I enjoyed the characters. Um, are very um, very well drawn and interesting. I love Charles Lennox. I love Lady Jane. Um, the mysteries are really interesting, um, and and I love the time period. I think the time period is also very well drawn. It feels the story feels very evocative of that time period. Sorry, I'm distracted. There's a bird flying really close to our house. Okay, sorry, I'm back. All right, so I will read from the first chapter. The fateful note came just as Lennox was settling into his armchair after a long, tiresome day in the city. He read it slowly, handed it back to Graham, and told him to throw it away. Its contents gave him a brief moment of preoccupation, but then, with a slight frown, he picked up the evening edition of the Standard and asked for his tea. So we know it's a Victorian time period, and we learn actually in the very next paragraph that it is 1865. So for today's Murder Mystery Monday recommendation, I have A Beautiful Blue Death by Charles Finch. I think it's interesting that he gave his main character his own name, Charles Lennox, um, uh, but it works. It's a good name for the Victorian time period and, uh, and yeah, it's a really entertaining historical mystery. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have read A Beautiful, Bull De uh, Bl a Beautiful Blue Death and if you have, have you continued in the series and have you enjoyed them? I know that after quite a few books in the series, he, he kind of went back in time and did a trilogy of prequels and I only read one of those, but I, but I really like that idea, um, you know, kind of going back to a younger version of Charles Lennox um, is always entertaining. So let me know in the comments if you've read this book um, or if I've tantalized uh, you into uh, looking it up for yourself, and I will see you for another video soon.